Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone! It is Friday. And you all know what that means. New shop campaign, new events, new shenanigans. Let's take a gander at what we got here. So the first thing that's on the notice board and on our little ticker down here is the new royal deal. Um, about time, I would like to say, and or screw you, Black Coat Mickey, for being so important. If you've watched my channel for a while now, you've kn you, you knew that I used to like doing the Coliseum. This little bastard right here is the reason why I do not like doing the Coliseum anymore. Coliseum basically became a test of do you have a high-guilted black coat Mickey or not, and if you don't, fuck you. I did not, so fuck me. Hilariously, I do not even have a single Black Coat Mickey. I have never pulled a single Black Coat Mickey. You guys know how much I pull. So, I'm lucky in some things, you might say, but I'm very unlucky in uh, others. Some very important others. So besides that deal, which I may or may not do seven times it would probably take, because... God forbid I actually get one of the Mickeys in the polls, besides the guaranteed one. So, the return of the free jewels is good. This is going to let me get the next thing I'm going to talk about. New avatar boards, and I've actually been wanting this one. The... Let's go back up here for him. The guy one is, uh, is alright. I guess if you wanted to be like a shirtless bastard going around, you could do that. But the female one, look how good that looks. Um, I'm considering gender swapping for a little while until I get a better either male costume or I decide to revert back to my default, what I've been using this whole time. The big deal, though, about this, though, Lux Plus. Lux Plus, finally, finally Lux Plus. You've returned to us! Some people don't even remember that it was included in the Skills That Thrills deal back in, oh god, April? Finally! In all my time playing, I have literally seen one. Whether people just weren't sharing them, I don't think they weren't. So, I think it, it just was that rare. But now we got it! Yes! So I'm going to get both of these boards. I highly suggest you guys do too. Even if you're free to play, try to finagle it. Use some of the jewels that you've been saving for pulls. This is much more efficient use of them. And make sure that you do the jewel quest every day. So next Monday, I'll buy the discounted jewel pack and I'll buy the mail deal. And then by the end of seven days, I should have enough jewels to buy the other one. So super excited about that. Avatar boards, you'll know, uh, I talk about them a lot. I consider them the best use of our jewels. Sure, you can use 3,000 jewels to pull 10 medals, and you might get something that you need, you might not. But when you buy one of these, you know exactly what you're getting. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry about that. Nose is a little, I'm about to do uh, something gross here. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Allergies have been a little bit crazy lately. So, for 3,000 jewels, you can either get 10 unknown medals, or you can get a badass looking costume, most likely, half of a gilted medal, these last two deals specifically.
an entire Sid if you buy both. Dales, chips, Dales, chips. I mean, they're free Evolve medals up to 100. That'll bring your illustrated medal right up to 100. And if we go back to the original Avatar boards, like, these are indisputably where you should spend your jewels first. Three costs, five SIDs, enough Chip and Dales for an entire medal. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk about is we got our rewards for the high score event. And I got seventh place! Woo -woo. So, what that meant, what that means, is I got a ton of more magic mirrors. I don't know what I'm going to use them on yet. The big deal, though, are these. Look at these guys. 100% trigger rate. No more ridiculous, well, I'll run this five times until all my attack boosts proc. And this is just the first time we've been given them. If we were given them now, we will get them in the future. So if you were only able to get two, if you were only able to get one, if you weren't able to get any, you will. I don't know what I'm going to use two of them on, but I know what I'm going to use one of them on. And if you've watched my channel enough, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. You've earned it, buddy. By far my strongest metal. Uh, well, not maybe... I don't know. It's my most used metal. So I might be biased in thinking that it's my strongest, but I use it on, on freaking speed fights, and it still does work. Boy, it is raining here like a mofo. Close my window here. Alright, so once we level this up... I mean, it's already at a 98%. Oh, wow! So even when you first put it on the metal, you're basically getting that 100%. That's impressive. Okay. My thoughts for the other two... Oh, I wanted to do this as well. Uh, ba -ba -ba, where are you, Cloud? Cloud has been stuck with an attack boost one for months. And with the frequency that I use them, that's criminal. So you know what? You've also earned it, buddy. Okay. So my thoughts on the other two were Illustrated Cloud considering I have him on two medals, my, my uh, Olympia and my Starlight, or Olympia and Treasure Trove. But I mean, he already has attack boost too. Um, and when you look at my other top medals, they all already have attack boost too. So it's like, do I wait for something that has nothing on it? Where I'll get full value. Or do I put it on one of these because they're important enough that they need it 100% of the time? I don't think any of these besides maybe Aladdin is important enough. Or used enough. So what I'm going to do for now, unless somebody can convince me otherwise, is save them. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'm eventually going to guilt a Sephiroth here with Mickey and Brooms. Uh, he will be a very good candidate if I can... Guilt my Marluxia, Marluxia, who I only need two more of. I have a couple level five ones. I'll put it on him. And Musketeer Mickey was the other one I was thinking about once I killed him. But if you have uh, any ideas, suggestions on what I should maybe use them on, or what you're using them on, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a good day.